here we are with Catalina Gerald from Naya. So I'm so excited to have you here and hear all about undies today. Well, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. This is super exciting. So how did you start this underwear company? Well, it's funny. I never in a million years would have thought that I would have started an underwear company because I was a lawyer. I had just traveled the world for 18 months and I was on a limited budget and I had bought a pair of panties and they fell apart. And I was, I was a little bit upset about how much I had paid for them. And I'm from Colombia and it's a lingerie producing country. Little known fact, lingerie is produced in very few parts of the world and there's pockets and Colombia happens to be one of them. And, um, and anyway, so I wanted to create a brand that was really fashion forward and great quality and that didn't fall apart like my underwear fell apart. Um, but at the same time, I thought it was a really interesting market because most of the U.S. population, including me, all my life I've purchased Victoria's Secret, but it doesn't really speak to me anymore because their images are so overly sexualized that I feel that it doesn't send the right message to the women of today. And so we wanted to create a brand that empowered women too. It's so true. You know, Victoria's Secret, I know, fairly recently had that um, body campaign and it, it actually said the perfect body. And I just think that's that's just not a great message to be putting out there. Although I do love Victoria's Secret as a brand in some ways, it's silly. People are different sizes and we can't be forced to look at something that's not natural. Exactly. And I think, you know, that's one of the things about uh, that you're seeing in, in brands now is that you're seeing it's an inclusive mentality. So you're just you're taking on Victoria's Secret. Well, <laughs> we're, we're an alternative brand to Victoria's Secret, I think. Um, at least we're in the same price category, okay. more or less. But um, for me, you know, there's always, there, are, there will always be people that want Victoria's Secret. And, um, and you know, we're trying to take on a part, a part of their market. Let's play around with some of this great underwear. Although it's a lingerie company, it's a technology company as yes. well. And you actually have created this amazing uh, memory foam cup. And how long did it take you to um, figure this out? You, it took like six months About to develop six this. months, yeah. I, I moved into a bra cup factory. And one of the things about Naya lingerie is it's very practical. So it takes into consideration the busy woman and how you live. And one of the things that bothered me all the time is packing a bra in a suitcase was just the most difficult thing to do because you were always trying to protect the cups, making sure they didn't crack. I wanted a bra that you could put in a suitcase and just lay flat or stomp on it. And so I started working with memory foam and another combination of materials and we came up with a bra that you could basically squish completely and the cups don't crack. So there was, must have been quite some serious science behind that. Um, it was it was trial and error. So we started trying different kinds of things and I would wash it. I, I would actually just wash it and dry it at home and stomp on it until and <laughs> until we finally, finally got where we wanted to be. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just stomping, stomping <laughs> on my underwear again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And along the same lines, well, we have a line called Cheeky Knickers, which is my favorite. Um, actually, I like a lot of lines, but, but Cheeky Knickers is really fun because they're kind of cheeky. So this one, for example, is called Bush, and it has trees, so it's a little bit tongue-in-cheek. But, um, well, and 2014 was the year of the bush, and so we called it the faux bush, in case you didn't want to go for the bush, the So faux they bush. really are pretty cheeky. They are, they're very cheeky. And then what makes them even cheekier, and this is a characteristic of all of our underwear, is that everything has a quote in the crotch. So this one says, be the heroine in your life. I met you a little while ago, and you gave me a pair of those, and. I just love that while I'm sitting on the toilet, I have a little inspirational message that inspires my day. I mean, I think it's hilarious, and it's, it's like, why haven't people done this before? So who makes the cheeky knickers? Because I know you have, you know, there's a whole element of giving back with Naya as well, which I think is wonderful. So who makes them? So the cheeky knickers are all made by single mothers or women heads of household. So initially we started with a program called Underwear for Hope where, where we make lingerie wash bags. And so when you buy a bra from Naya, you're gonna get a lingerie wash bag for free. And that lingerie wash bag is being made by a woman in the slums. So it gives her an opportunity to work while taking care of her kids. But that is fantastic. High five. 
I love it. It's awesome. It's I love awesome. it. You are doing so much good. Now, this is your second time being an entrepreneur? It is. I don't know why I torture myself like this. <laughs> so so how how is it the second time as opposed to the first time? What did you learn from your first company that you have brought now to the table? The most important thing was basically hire slowly and learn every aspect of the business that you can. Because if you can actually execute in every part of the business, um, you're much better as a CEO. And I didn't do that with my first company. Well, what do we have to look forward to? Um, the upcoming collection, some of it is displayed here. It's a, it's a 1960s mod collection, so it's inspired after, it's called Carnaby Street, and um, bathing suits. So Ooh. we will be doing bathing suits this summer, and I'm really excited for this. Has anyone ever asked you to take off your underwear because they want to be inspired? <laughs> no, 